What is up, y'all? Good morning. This is King Ranch 13. Today, uh, what we got going on is get some material for a porch that I'm building for my wife, surprising her while she's gone at yeah, basic training for the army. We are going over to my buddy's wood yard to borrow his gooseneck trailer to pick up some material. The cost of lumber has gone up significantly, and I don't think I'm building my porch for another maybe week. But I didn't want to wait any longer for everything to shoot up real high. So I figured I'll just go and pick it up today while I had a free morning. If y'all hadn't already, please hit that like and subscribe. That would really help me out. Hey, and leave in the comments for me what you think about the 2020 F-250. I've had my eye on a couple of them and I'm starting to get the itch maybe. So leave in the comments, let me know what you think about the new ones, about the new look, and uh, also maybe if you know anything about the 10-speed transmission. Like a dummy, I left my list of roofing and plywood, how much concrete I needed at home. So, I reckon this will do for now. Well, guys, left a piece of paper at home that had stuff for the top of the roof for the porch that's going on. So, I had to make another trip up here, get everything strapped down pretty good. Ready to head back to the house, get a cold bottle of water, and uh, actually I got a call from my uncle. Tomorrow I've got to go to Houston and drop off a side by side. He's he works pipeline out there, and so a little emergency case deal. So I'll leave there probably pretty early in the morning and try to get back by lunchtime if I can. That way I'm not gone weekend too much we've got a lot of goat going on at the church and also frogging starts one uh i guess technically monday at midnight so got a lot going on anyways i'm gonna head back to the house get the trailer dropped off and there's a 40 foot gooseneck that my buddy cody is letting me borrow thanks cody we'll get this dropped off and then go get the side by side i uh, hooked the gooseneck trailer here and go check the mail downtown working on a pipeline job where he needs a side by side and so he's using my papa's and I'm driving about four and a half hours to him so going on a little road trip it's middle of the night body's kind of not fully awake but after I got home yesterday didn't really get to do much <laughs> kind of took, took it easy for the rest of the day and just gonna go drop it off drive right back we've got also a very busy week coming up i've got about five trucks that i'm working on next week Got the side by side dropped off to my uncle in law. Drove me around the pipeline, showed me what, what they're doing. They're putting in a big compressor station deal on the 
right away, and so uh, <laughs> right away there is pretty darn muddy and can't get regular trucks in there and stuff. So, anyways, heading back to Louisiana and might make a stop in Livingston where my buddy Colby and Branson are for the weekend. They are going to listen to uh, a guy preach there uh, today, actually. So it's still only about 7.50. I'm going to see if they are able to catch some breakfast, and if not, then I'll just head back to Louisiana. Also, some of y'all have asked about a towing video, and so this is kind of some clips that are for y'all. Um, me towing the gooseneck from earlier and uh, pulling the side-by-side -side on a small utility trailer. I think it's about 16 foot. The gooseneck is about 40 foot, dual tandem. So on the dual tandem, empty going about 65. I think I was getting roughly uh, 13 or 14 miles per gallon or something like that. Um, and it towed great, towed totally fine. Uh, even after putting <clears throat> about maybe 3,000, 2,000 pounds of wood and stuff like that, and materials. Still got about, I think, 12 or something like that heading back. So it's, which is pretty good, uh, especially being on 38s and all that. With this utility trailer though, I was, with the Polaris, I was only getting about, I think, 11 and a half. Uh, and so, I think it has to do something with the wind resistance from the side-by-side -side being back there. But, I don't know. I just got terrible fuel economy with it. I was expecting to get maybe better than 13 with the gooseneck, or you would think, because it's lighter. But, I actually got a little bit less. So, um, let me know in the comments what y'all's fuel economy looks like when you're towing your camper or a tractor or whatever it is on top of what type of trailer so leave that below in the comments all right hey guys so finally got back to the house i end up getting the trailers unloaded if you'd like to see any more videos make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and i think there's a little notification bell down there if you hit that every time i upload a video you'll get a notification that i've put something up but anyways thanks so much for watching let me know what you think stay tuned until next time